Alrighty guys, so I just tore apart a Briggs and Stratton uh, 140cc 550EX uh, engine that was manufactured in 2014. And I started this mower up today, it was given to me by a customer. And I started it up and that happened right as I started it up, like within five minutes. So I tore it apart and instead of making a long video tearing each piece of the motor apart, it practically fell apart. We're going to look at each component and determine the cause of why this motor failed. Now the oil that was in this motor, as you can see, is black. And I'm going to get to that in a minute. So this is our camshaft and it runs the lifters. First thing I notice is a lot of score marks on the part that fits into the block. A significant amount of score marks. That right there is a sign of lack of lubrication. This right here is our compression release mechanism and it's kind of stiff. That's for easier starting. It depresses the valves to allow for easier starting takes out the compression. So you notice our lobes right here, these hit the tappets that push the push rods, comes around here, it hits this, and in it goes, back, in it goes, and back, that's basically how it works. You look at the bottom when the camshaft's sitting in the motor like this, and you see again a lot of score marks, and that tells me a lack of oil. This, you notice something about the top uh, lobe right here is it's rounded. It means it wore down compared to the top or bottom lobe. That's how it should look. That's how it looks. I don't see how this motor even ran. So we got visible wear and score marks that I can feel with my fingernail when I'm wearing gloves. And that tells me there's a lack of lubrication. I can't say that enough in this video. I'm going to repeat that each step of the way. So next what we're going to look at is a piece of the connecting rod that broke off. Look at that. That is severely scored. Deep grooves. I could see it overheated. To get the light on it. That should be a polished smooth finish. Like the inside of that crankcase. So now we're going to look at the piston. This is a piston assembly. All motors have a piston. I can tell this motor been run hot, which has probably been worked really hard. Probably the guy bush hogged with it or something. Like I said, here's our piston, little baby piston. And I see a lot of score marks on here. The piston rings look really well. They're seated properly. The oil rings good. It's not broke or anything. So the rings didn't seize to the block. What happened is the piston or the rod seized to the journal on the crankshaft and that's what caused it to throw a rock. There's no way I'd get that screw out. But you can see the amount of wear right here and how hot this motor has got. You can see right there too. And I know it fused to the crankshaft because I had to beat it off there with that big hammer. So here's our crankshaft. Crankshaft and uh, the part that balances the motor. So we're looking at the journal here. Let me get some of this oil off of here. And first thing I notice is it's a sign that it fused to the crankshaft. Because it got really hot. You could see the discoloration.
and it got hot and it basically melted on there and that's what caused it to throw rock. But look at all that damage and score marks. This crankshaft's junk. There's our timing gear. We'll take a quick look at it. There's probably little to no damage on it. This is what runs the uh, flywheel, or not flywheel, the camshaft. There's a spacer washer and there's no wear on the cam gear or the timing gear, whatever you want to call it. This is the oil slinger or the governor. These little fins on the governor is what slings the oil around. As you see when I spin the governor, these weights fly out and that's what regulates the RPMs of the motor. Because your governor shaft right here fits on top of the motor and whenever it moves, it's still got the governor spring attached to it so it's kind of hard for me to move it. And right here's our governor arm. So when our governor arm is moving, it's putting pressure on or off of here and that's what regulates the speed. Don't ask me how it works. It's a long, complicated uh, story. You can take these apart. I'm not going to take this one apart because there's nothing wrong with it. But this is also ran off of the... Uh, and the cause of failure on this motor is lack of lubrication due to not changing the oil and running it hard. This motor overheated. Okay, so we left off that. The reason this motor failed is Number one, it overheated. The person was probably trying to cut really tall, thick grass with it, and it couldn't keep up, probably stalled it a couple times. The customer, the former customer, I should say, the customer who gave me this mower, former owner, didn't bother to change the oil in it, and this happened. It was knocking to begin with, which means damage has already occurred when there's a rod knock, that usually means this bolt came loose due to overheating and you factor in that gross oil that came out of this thing, it's no wonder it threw a rod. And it broke it too. I don't know where all the other pieces are. But you see that bolt backed out and that was the end of it. Because it got too hot and the material this rod's made out of expanded, bolt backed out, and it slung a rod. Look here, I can turn that by hand and I shouldn't be able to. There's no way I'd be able to get it out because that is all messed up. But what I wanted to show you is the cylinder. This is the part where the piston goes up and down in for those of you who don't know where the cylinder is. This should be smooth. There should be no scratches or anything. And I can tell the rings in this motor got awful hot because those are really bad score marks. And there's no fixing this motor, there's no rebuilding it. It broke a cylinder when it threw a rod. So you can see this motor's junk. So, the reason I made this video is to show what happens when you do not maintain your equipment. The motor will simply give out. So anyways, I'm going to close up because it's probably 7 o'clock in the evening. It's still hot out here. And I uh, hope you all learned something today on what happens when a motor decides to give out due to lack of maintenance. But like I said, you can see how black and just full of metal shaving this oil is. And it's probably the wrong type of oil used. Probably non-detergent. This will also cause that to happen if you use non-detergent oil. And uh, always use 30 weight in the brakes. You can use 10W30, but you have to check it more often. But anyways, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to clean this mess up. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.